So negative limitations keep you away from what is good. Zinafungua milango ya mambo mabaya yote. Sickness, marafiki mabaya, pombe, kufa mapema, you know, magonjwa inafungua inafungua milango yote isipokuwa kubarikiwa na kufanikiwa. But positive limitations they keep you away from things that are there to harm you. Negative limitations move you in negative patterns and cycles. Okay? Negative limitations move you move in negative patterns and cycles. Kwa hiyo unakuta kama kama ni matatizo matatizo ya kimahusiano yanaenda yakijurudia rudia. Matatizo ya fedha yanaenda yakijurudia rudia. Because you are supposed to break through at a certain point from that limitation but any time that you arrive at the door of breakthrough you go back to level one and you repeat the process does this make sense yani unapokuwa umejitahidi umewekeza fedha umewekeza fedha umewekeza fedha and now you are just two meters away from getting into your breakthrough and after you get to your breakthrough you have overcome you have gone to another level and you're not going back anymore the enemy sees that you're just two inches away from your success he just comes in and he blocks you and takes you back 20 years you start afresh Those are negative cycles and negative patterns. Unapokuwa katika mahusiano na mtu anakupenda vizuri, anazungumza vizuri, anakufanyia mambo mazuri mazuri mazuri, anasema wewe ndio wa kwangu sina mwingine. Unaenda vizuri, unaenda vizuri, unaenda vizuri. Baada ya mwaka anasema sasa sasa niko tayari, sasa nataka nije nitabishe kwenu, niweze you know, kutoa mahari na vitu kama hivyo. Ba Unakuta ule mwaka unafika hasemi kitu, hafanyi kitu, anaanza tu kuwa waajabu waajabu, baadaye unasikia yuko na mwanamke mwingine. And then baadaye unasikia ameoa. When you begin seeing those patterns, know that there is some work to do. Usianze kuwa mjinga. Don't move ignorantly. If you realize that there's some negative patterns in your life, you are supposed to have finished your first degree, but eight years, 20 years you're not finishing. There is a negative cycle that needs to be broken. Unless God is speaking to you like Abraham. Because sometimes God speaks to you directly. You don't have what you're supposed to have. You haven't broken through. You haven't overcome the limitation, but God is speaking to you. Anakuambia wazi wazi, this is what I want you to do. Ni mimi ndio nataka nikupe Isaac. Nataka nikupe Isaac. I will make you a great nation. I will make you a great nation. He keeps on talking 25 years in a Peter. God keeps on saying it. But if you're not hearing from God, if you do not know what you are doing, but those negative cycles keep on repeating, you have to do something about it. Usinyamaze kimya. Usisimea ndo hivi tu, mimi ndo inakuaga hivi hivi tu. Mimi ndo inakuaga hivi hivi tu. Hapa nataka kunichumbia lakini Don't repeat the devil's language. You have to adopt a different language. positive limitations help you break patterns positive limitations help you break, break patterns and cycles of negative limitations niko tu nazungumza hapa the difference between negative and positive into ya mwisho kwenye hii section positive limitations help you break patterns and cycles of negative limitations it is interesting that in order to break cycles you need to limit yourself to positive limitations once you come under the governance and under the dynamics of god and his laws some things begin to break negative things begin to break okay i won't talk so much about this until two weeks away from now now let us go and look into types of some types of limitations and at this moment we'll be reading some scriptures i'm not going to say everything and what it means because there's so much to to uh, to be said but here are some types these are just some so what ni baadhi tu some types of limitations all right so i'm not going to say how you can overcome all of these but i'm going to just give you some principles in two weeks 
Number one, spiritual limitations. This is the biggest one. Spiritual limitations. Yani vizuizi vya kiroho. Okay? Vizuizi vya kiroho. Namba wa mchungaji ya tusume matendo ya mitume kuminatatu na ule mstari wa sita mpaka wa kuminamoja. Six to eleven. Acts chapter 13 verse 6 to 11. Mm -hmm. Do we have a mic on? Thank you. Neno la Mungu linasema walipokuisha kupita katikati ya kisiwa chote mpaka pako wakaona mtu mmoja mchawi unabii wa uongo miaudi jina lake Yesu mtu huyu alikuwa pamoja na liwali Sergio Paulo mtu mwenye akili yeye liwali akawaita Barnaba na Sauli waje kwake akataka kusikia neno la Mungu Lakini elima yule mchawi maana ndio tafsiri ya jina lake akashindana nao akitaka kumtia yule liwali moyo wa kuiacha ile imani Lakini Sauli ambaye ndiye Paulo akajaa Roho Mtakatifu akamkazia macho akasema ewe mwenye kujaa hila na uovu wote mwana wa ibilisi adui wa haki yote Uwachi kuzipotoa njia za bwana zilizo nyoka basi angalia mkono wa bwana uju yako nawe utakuwa kipofu usilione jua kwa muda mala kiwi ikamangukia na giza akazunguka zunguka na kumtafuta mtu wa kono na kumuongoza haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe sana haleluya ya yeah, nalipenda hili neno uh, we can reduce the effects. Nalipenda hili neno. Uh, ili, aliko nalipenda sana katika ile matendo ya mitume kumina tatu. Paulo na Barnaba wameanza huduma wakapita mahali pana ito Pafo. Na walipofika hapo, <coughs> wakamona mtu liwali, mtu mkubwa sana. Lakini hayuko peke yake, yuko amekana mtu mgini anaito Bayesu. Ok? Bayona. Uyo mtu ni mchawi. Na kama unavyojua watu walioko katika nafasi za juu hata leo hii kama hawamtegemei Mungu wako wanamtegemea shetani yani wako wanategemea wachawi wako wanategemea nguvu za giza kuna kitu ambacho wenyewe wanakitazamia kama kinga yao na kwa hiyo Barnaba na Paulo wamefika hapo pafu wakasema Bwana ngoja tumshuhudie mtu lakini wakianza kumshuhudia wakakuta wako wanashindana na nguvu nyingine Iko nguvu ya, ya giza inatenda kazi kinyume cha kuamini kwa huyu liwali Hii katika, katika, katika seminar tunaita power encounter And Power encounter ni pale ambapo nguvu ya mungu inakutana na nguvu ya shetani Na nguvu ya mungu inashinda Mwanaisa sifuwe sana Na ndipu Paulo akachukia na huko amejawa romu takatifu biblia nasema Akamkazia macho yule mchawi na kumuambia evinini Kwa kitambo hautaona Sidiyo akamlani na kumkemea kwa muda asione na kwa hili nguvu ya mungu ikashuka ikamfunga yule mchawi kiasi kwamba yule liwari akasema ee eh, yule ninae mtegemea yeye mwenye amefanya nini amekua limited listen to this so he, the, 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 the witch was trying to limit spiritual understanding upon this man Domana wazazi lazima muombe sana kusu watutu wenu Na wale mnaishi nao Na jombe wa mnyewe Have you wondered some people come to church for many years But they still do not know God You know why? Because they have spiritual limitations They have something that is holding them back from knowing and understanding God Wakati wewe ni rahisi kuchukua vitu vya mungu Na kufunguka moyo Na kuona hey hi, hi, ah, yu, no furai. You know you are just excited about the word of God You are excited about the prayer, week of prayer and, and fasting But mungine tukitangaza this is the week of prayer and fasting Ndiyo kwanza anakimbia Why? Because they are spiritually limited John chapter 8 Verse 31 to 32. 
some people are limited from knowing God they are set up Apart from the truth, John chapter eight verse thirty-one. This is what God is saying. Basi yesu akawambi a wale waya udo limu amini. Ninyim kika katika neno langu mekuwa wanafunzi wangu kweli kweli. Tena mtaifam kweli na yuo kweli itawaweka huru. Now there is a process here. Sindi oye. There is a process here. So you come and know. Kuna destination ina ito kweli. Okay. There is a place called truth. But how do we arrive there? Tunafikaje pale? Yesu akamwambia wanafunzi mkika nini? Kwenye katika neno langu. Baada ya neno mnafanya nini? Mmekuwa wanafunzi wangu kweli kweli. So kama shetani akitaka kuja kulimit wewe kuijua kweli ataanzia wapi? Wewe okay namsikia mzee anasema hapa naomba wote tuseme kwa tuwe pamoja jamani. Na wale tulioko nyumbani anasema mki jua maneno yangu mtaifahamu kweli na hiyo kweli itafanya nini itaweka huru okay so huru is the third stage but what is the first stage what is the first stage Sunday. what is the first stage I want you to read that verse. Najua sikuambia mfungue but Roho Mtakatifu anataka ni tuangalie hili. Yohana 3:31. John 8:31. Anasema ninyi mkikaa katika neno langu mkoa wanafunzi wangu kweli kweli tena mtaifahamu hiyo kweli na hiyo kweli itawekwa huru. Kwa huru is the third stage but what is the first stage kujua neno kwa hiyo shetani anakuja wapi kwa tika kutokujua neno you remember i talked about growing in the word yeah hata 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 kuzuia kule katika kuwa kuto kutokuwa huru no 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 he's just going to deal with you in the word kwa sababu usipoijua neno usipokaa katika neno hautaweza kujua kweli na usipokaa katika kweli hautakuwa huru So spiritual limitations. Number two, 